Welcome back to Danger Close Customs. Today we're going to take a look again at the M plus M M10X pistol and go over the gas settings. I looked on the internet, I looked all over YouTube and there was not instructions on how to set the gas settings for this gun. So I thought I'd show you now that I got figured out. All right, here's the gas setting that I have it on. It is uh, going towards the seven o'clock position. And this was the setting I couldn't get it to go to before. Um, so before I have it straight down at the six o'clock position, now it's at the seven o'clock position. And if you put on the five o'clock position, you're actually going to have no gas. And in my previous video I showed it, it just does not uh, move the action at all. So I was able to get it to go and I'll show you how we can do that. There's the little indent plug here that you push so you can rotate that and release your gas system. And so on here, you can see that this moves and when you pull this out, you can see the different holes. These extra lines of holes here, you can do some extra settings um, for adjusting it for your suppressor. And you can even have these drilled out if you need to, uh, to make them larger for your suppressor. But there's, they do offer a couple of extra settings that you can use to customize this rifle. Uh, but these are the main holes. And what I didn't understand in the manual was they were showing one that there was numbers on here and there are no no numbers or indications on this piece but they said that there was going to be numbers here to show you where to put it the second thing is there's little notches but they're on the underside so when you're looking at it this way you can't see the notches from the underside you can see there's one two three settings here and so those are the main gas settings we're talking about today one, two, three settings, those little indents. And so when you put this in, you'll be able to see as you turn it, there's one setting, there's two settings, and then there's the third setting. The indent is gonna be at the eight o'clock position. And so right now, gas setting two is just to the seven. And that's what the holes look like, the large hole and then you can turn it one more. And now you have a little bit smaller hole. And this is the six o'clock position. The pistol shot in this position, which we'll call gas setting two, which is pointing to the seven o'clock. And it shot at the six o'clock position, which is called gas setting one. And then if you move it to this direction, you close off the gas. I did notice uh, the difference um, in shooting. And I'll show you that here in a second when between the two, it was definitely much softer. And so when you're in the seven o'clock position, you have the large hole, and that means more gas is being um, bled off and reducing the amount of, ac of the action pounding back. Why not? So you can see here in gas one, it's jumping around a little bit. Hard to manage that recoil. I gotta stuff it into my chest pocket there. Gas 2 is like butter. Fire off a quick string. Easier to handle. So this makes it shoot actually a lot softer than a normal AK. Most AKs are over gassed. So this adjustable gas does allow you to tame the AK round a little bit. And uh, I'm showing you here these gas settings again. It's kind of ridiculous that there's no information and uh, I had to post a video in which I made some negative claims about the pistol and the company contacted me to show me how to do it correctly so now I am able to say I do like this pistol this system runs really well and I do recommend the M plus M 10 X now that we got the gas system figured out I since have ran a bunch of rounds through this gun and it's been shooting flawlessly Please like and subscribe to my channel for more gun videos. Thanks for watching. Danger close.